Word. Good night, people. Welcome to another episode of the Caribbean Fan Stand. The place where us fans can be fans. Alright, so good night, everybody. Who here now on the live, coming in on the live, checking out the um, pre recorded uploads on um, Reels and on YouTube, on the YouTube page. Uh, good night to you. Good night to you. Um, name mommy. First time you reach you, you come around me. Yes, I'm crying. I'm crying because I have no bread. Alright, so um, good night to you. Good night to you. for those who are new to the page, who are new to the, who are new to the, um, the content, please, show, please be sure to follow us here on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Um, go to the YouTube, uh, subscribe to the YouTube page, right? Turn on the bell notification so you could um, be updated when new content drop. Yeah. So, um, yeah, boy. I apologize. I didn't. Um, I didn't get to. I didn't get to. Um, to upload last week's episode of the fan stand a uh, little conflicting well a conflict a scheduling conflict with the, with the, with the, um, the studio space with the workspace but um yeah but i think i'll, I'll post it i'll post it same time as i post in this this episode here yeah. so you'll get to see well who who wasn't here and who wasn't here early like me mommy do you know they will get they will get the Discuss earlier on in the in the um, in the topic. Yeah, so let's get into it. Um, we go again into the you know more weekend round up. We will have a little um, we will do a little um, A little, um, sorry, a little um, recap of the Champions League and the Europa League, you know, which was earlier in the week, of course, well, last week. Alright, so, let's get into it. Um, just gonna call out some of the marquee score lines, not all, you know, the surprising ones, a little bit. Um, Dortmund. They came out 2 0 when was against Newcastle. So Newcastle dropped down to, to the last in that group after they was in a good position. Um, after the PSG win, um, Shakhtar, they beat Barcelona 1 goal to 0. Um, yeah, so good night with that one. Good night to, um, to Kells. Shakhtar beat all 1 goal to 0 in the arm. Champions League, Atletico Madrid, hmm. they stumped on Celtic six goals to nil. Wow. Uh, Milan edge, PSG two goals to one. Juve still scoring to, um, to make that group real interesting. Now everybody could still qualify from that from Group F. <coughs> um, on Wednesday was uh, um, Union Berlin they drew with Napoli. One goal, one goal each. Um, was Bayern came from behind to beat um, Galatasaray two goals to one. Um, Copenhagen they beat Manchester United in a in a seven goal thriller, four goals to three. Uh, <coughs> and yeah, yeah, and uh, Real Madrid they won without um, how we name Bellingham. Think he had a little knock, so that was resting him up and thing. Right, in the Europa League, uh, Levi Garcia came back in the starting lineup for the Europa League after a little injury um, outage. But they lose to home and away. Well, away and then home now. Two excuse to Marseille. Two goals to nil. So, um,. <laughs> I ain't sure, eh? Let's see how they're looking in that group. They're in group B. 
So, in Group B, in the UEFA Europa League, um, Marseille sit on top with six points. Um, Brighton second with seven points. AK Athens third with four points, and Ajax second. I mean, sorry, last with two points. So AK Athens. The AK Athens, um, third right now, they could still make it out of the group. There are two more games to play, they could still make it out of the group if they win both games. So, the Destiny in the hands. Um, yeah, so, Dog and Night, Dog and Night, Alakas, too. Your team lost, your team lost, Dog and Night, yeah? I tell everybody who come in the stand, Dog Night. Ah. Uh, yeah, right, so moving into the weekend round up in the um the top European leagues. Um in Germany, Bayern Munich, they beat um Heddenheim, four goals to two hurricane, keeps on scoring. Um Stuttgart back to winning ways, they edge past Dortmund, who keeps on struggling, two goals to one. Um By Leverkusen, they they they, uh, they move past Union Berlin four goals to nil, um, and RB Leipzig one three goals to one against um, Freiburg. All right, so the standings in Germany reads as by Leverkusen and on one, I mean sorry, in first position. On 31 points, Bayern Munich second with 29 points, uh, Stuttgart third with 24 points, and uh, RB Leipzig move up into fourth place with 23 points. Dropping out of the top four is Bayer um, Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, all right, into Spain now. Um, Athletic Club, they beat Celta, four goals to three. Girona keeps on winning the um, edge pass. Rea via Cano, two goals to one away from home. Uh, Sociedad beat Almeria, three goals to one away from home. Um, Real Madrid with Old Bellingham. I think um, Rodrigo and Vinicius both had... Um, Braces in this game, they won five schools to one against um, Valencia at home. Ba Barcelona came from behind, came from behind eh, to beat the uh, Deportivo Alvarez, two goals to one. Sevilla drew one all with Real Betis. Atletico Madrid, they looking. I mean, Atletico Madrid looking hot and cold, but for the most part, hot. Um, William Griezmann looking very good going back to the old team. Three goals to one. They won. Um, the coach mm -hmm. Simeone got a new contract. They go and three goals to one against um against Villarreal. Right, and it have one more game to play on Wednesday in this round of matches with um Mario Mario Kart taking on um Kades. Um, but as is the standings in Spain reads in La Liga Girona first place with 34 points um, by uh, Real Madrid second with 32 points Barcelona on 30 points a sitting third and in fourth place Atletico Madrid with a game in hand on 28 points nice heading over into Syria A uh, um Milan um a bit hot and cold as I mentioned last time um they drew two all with Lecce away from home um, 
Juventus, edge pass, Cagliari, two goals to one. Uh, Napoli dropped at home, one goal to nil to Empoli. Uh, you didn't see, and Atalanta drew one all. Fiorentina, two one to Bologna. Uh, Roma and Lazio, they drew nil nil. And Inter, um, one against. Frosoni, two goals to nil. Right, so Kevin Lynch, pick up yourself. Welcome to the fan stand. And heading over into the Premier League, the best league in the world. Ah, uh, on Saturday started off with um Wolves beating Spurs. Uh, so um. Uh, just this lack on the wheel, so the series to get to like the light to fall off towards have no defense. Diarrhea, diarrhea, and, and the old Ben Davis is the center backs. Um, they lose the wolves. I think they scored, um, Spurs scored, um, Brendan Johnson, Brendan Johnson scored in the third minute of the game, and then they lo lost the two injury time goals, two injury time goals. Uh, that is a one. It's a, almost the whole game you lead. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Arsenal they beat Burnley convincingly. Three goals to one. Um, Everton surprisingly. Three goals to two against Crystal Palace away. Manchester United. Um, edge pass Luton one goal to nil. And. Born mouth they beat the injury shaken Newcastle two goes to nil. But I'm not feeling sorry for Newcastle with all the injuries. I'm feeling sorry for any team with injuries. So when Chelsea was with the injuries this season and last, nobody had nobody had any sympathy for us. So I hope my mom said I hope yeah, but I think we're facing them first after the international break, so I hope their miseries continue. Cause even if people come back from injury, they might, you know, they ain't gonna be fully fit. I hope it injury and people, but you know, I hope when they didn't catch back the seven till after the play, if at all. Alright, so uh, on Sunday, Aston Villa three goals to one against Fulham. Um, Sheffield United came from behind to draw one all with Brighton. Liverpool three goals to one against Brentford. Uh, West Ham came from behind to win three goals to two at home against Nottingham Forest. And in the game of the week, yet again, the game of the week features Chelsea Football Club. Four goals to four goals at <laughs> uh, the bridge against Man City. Yeah. So we're getting into the game of the week one time. So this is the third game of the week. I mean, sorry, well, the third in about four weeks, five weeks, so, so much. Um, twice in less than a week. Come Monday into about two game weeks, back to back game weeks. Just you have the game of the week. Um, after the madness in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Monday last. Um, they replayed a four-all draw with Man City. In a, in a, well, that was that's 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 is the game of the season so far in the Premier League. Probably in all of Europe. Um, one of the best goals, one of the best games in the Premier League of all time. Not I say, I never say up like you know, probably top one hundred or uh, top twenty or something. Um, so yeah. So I get into it. Um, so Anthony Taylor, you like get into the crux side one time. Anthony Taylor, this shit on of a referee, this helmet, helmet was demoted to the championship last week, and whoever in charge of um referees association, the referee, whoever in charge, I know. Um, posting all the referees, you know, um, scheduling the, the referees' games. 
they decided how the way if it's he who I know he's the president but if it's he but hmm, he had to take blame so how oh, the web and his team decided after demoting Anthony Taylor to the championship last week and he balls up a game down there too he come to referee the biggest game of the weekend Chelsea versus Manchester City and with no surprise to any Chelsea fan balls it up in favor of the other team um so in the 20 something minutes let me see if i get the minute the, the, the. right so in the 25th minute or thereabouts about the 21st minute the fall happened but you know the, free, the goal was scored in the 25th minute he gave a penalty to Man City. Now, I'm not saying it was not foul. Cucurella did hold on to Haaland slightly. It was a soft foul, even if you call it any foul. But, Haaland was holding, equally holding back the man and holding the jersey. And with the slightest touch went down. And even before that, Duku pushed Kaiseido into the regime. So, was going on to collect the ball. That end up being cross um, to, to cause the penalty in the first place. Right? So, this Anthony Taylor and VAR, thank you. Right? Um, Bigger brand inside the fans, down, um, season ticket holder. I ain't seen for a while, but Bigger Brandel. Randall. How was the other channel? Was there? Yeah, went to Jambola. Uh, also, Bigger Brandel, Bigger Brandel, the real love Anton. How up? Inside the fan stand, or, um, a regular inside the fan stand, yeah. So, Anthony Taylor, that like, so it was 1 0 to Man City in the 25th minute. Um, four minutes later, however, there we wasn't done for long. A beautiful letter coming across the box, glancing at that from the first, from the first post down into the far corner from the immortal Thiago Silva. Yeah, and the game was back and forth. Both teams are changing. Um, I think I know the stats here, but I think the XG, the XG, the expected goals was very close for both teams. Um, and possession, man. See, I think it was like fifty-one to forty-nine percent possession or something like that. So the game was very even. Um, yeah. Then um, Sterling scored against his old team with our system regimes. In the in the in the twenty ninth minute, sorry, yeah, no, the thirty seven minute. Um, put in Chelsea up two one, and Chelsea was looking very good at that time. However, I, I, um, I mistake any back. I think regime said I get a little tighter in the back of a Kanji, but uh, I missed time jump from Thiago Silva. Well, we had a really good game. I missed time jump. He jumped, missed jump, missed, he jumped early by a buzzy, but a little second, half a second. That Kanji put away a good header. Um, an injury time in the first half. And then about 90 seconds into the second half. Um, Harlan again bundled over a ball into into the back of unit. So then the, the back the Man City back up three goals to two. They so thinking about that is it for Chelsea. City had some good chances in between after after that after that um third goal. But then in the um sixty seven minute a nice play started and well not started and finished it and finished but started by Gallagher playing the ball wide out um Modric, Modric take on Walker, play the ball back inside. A Gallagher shoot. Emerson got to parry, but not away from the goal. And Nicholas Jackson was able to pounce really quickly and score. Then again, Raji back, Raji again in the 86 minute, a deflection of um, Silva. So everybody thinking here, that is it for Chelsea. I am not told that's it for me. I say, wait, boy, you play a good game, nothing from the game. Hello? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, maybe fifth minute of injury time of, uh, 
cool palma cool they call them cold not cold again eh? not c-o-l-e c-o-l-d cold just cool ice veins palma um score against the team that recently sold him you know so you cannot you, you cannot get enough minutes they put away a beautiful penalty against Ellison equalizing the game a very best celebration with the boss celebration you know yeah 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 you know so um yeah so big up big up um as i said i don't want to two mistakes you know in the game but that kind of you know added to the to the excitement but it was a really a good game overall especially fun for the neutrals i'm sure um for chelsea regimes regimes had a brilliant game but that was the best that is the best game i ever see regimes play for chelsea probably ever but for, certainly for chelsea um taking it to kyle walker taking it to kyle walker and coming out on top most times um conor gallagher as well had a real big game dominating in the midfield and dominating in the midfield with kaisedo with two with uh with 200 million dollar players kaisedo and um and enzo uh cool palmer was good during the whole game um you have a nice way. I think I talked about this last time, but Cool Kama have a, he have a real nice understanding of the game and understanding where he needs to be at certain times. And not like if tell a player go and play in a position and he just stick into that position, you tell him go and play wide and he's saying wide no matter who's going on in the game. So Cool Kama playing, he and regimes and can up wide when he needs to be, when he just needs to drop back in the midfield and help out. Or, 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 or you know, play through the then later in the game he was playing as a 10. So yeah, big up Cool Kama boy. Um, regimes, Doku in the back pocket, Doku in the regimes and get dribble pass for the whole game. So yeah, this is not my, this is not me saying this. This is stats. Uh, Doku first he fighting up here, you know, diving, trying to thing and get a yellow card, trying you know. to first he can get regimes, and he ain't even play a whole game. He just play sixty minutes, eh? Cause you know they're trying to get him back to full fitness. They want, they want a chance it now, him. So. Yeah, um, Sanchez, although he um, let four pass, I can't say any was really his fault. Um, he did have some big saves as well to pull me out. Um, Thiago Silva had a good game. Like I say, he had one or two mistakes that led to City goals, but he overall he had a good game. Um, on the City side, Rodri didn't look like Rodri, but still was influential in the game. Um, well, Haaland is Haaland. I think their best player was um, Foden. He was the most threatening player, I believe. Uh, Kovacic came on and gave them a little bit more stability. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, but I think, not being biased, I think, like, man for man, man for man, if you check, like, how much players play. Like they written each player game. Man for man Chelsea had the better game. Um but City was, you know, less class. So even Chelsea scoring four goals still, you know, not good enough to beat City and we was home. But um Well done to the lads, well done to the lads. Uh I say it was a brilliant game. So all those who, who, who was able to see it or they know what I'm talking about. Um, it's the case I know saying that it don't be um, with a good comeback after I see I add if we have food is not as salty but I'll take it still just I'll, I'll drink some juice and take that salt um Adams Adams up in the fan stand Kevy up in the fan stand good night big up for yourself yeah boy so it seems that Chelsea is blockbuster so anytime Chelsea is playing Unless they go into pre, you need to what you need to get you need to get behind a TV, um, or phone or computer, any screen. Just get behind a screen. Yeah, boy. Um, and we playing. Let me make sure. Let me tell you, we playing Newcastle after the international break, I believe. Eh? Yeah, let me make sure. Yeah, Newcastle Saturday twenty fifth, eleven o'clock. Then Brighton on Sunday, the third ten. 
and Man City, uh, Man United, uh, sorry, in the middle of the week, three days later, on the 6th of December. So, yeah, I think we have a, um, excuse, a Carabao Cup against Newcastle somewhere in between there as well. Yeah, so, um, oh, and before I went into the game, the game of the week one time, the standings in the Premier League um is man city first in 20 with 28 points um liverpool second on 27 points arsenal they are in third also on 27 points with tottenham dropping to fourth with 26 points um chelsea much chelsea fans with the intent on 16 points with the opportunity to jump at least uh, Eight or some or thereabouts. We could jump up at least two places. Well, at least one place. Definitely two places. If we win against Newcastle coming into coming out of the um the international break. Alright, so there you have it. The weekend roundup of the top international leagues and the game of the week, Chelsea versus Man City. You know, like you want to check out the highlights, if not the entire game, if for the um on the challenge on the fifth stand up. Uh in the NBE this week going into this week, the Philadelphia 76ers they own a hold the top spot in the east. Eight wins, one loss. Boston Celtics drop to second with seven wins, two losses. And um, third, Indiana, fourth, Miami, both with six wins and four losses. Um, fifth place, Atlanta Hawks, and in sixth place, Miami, I'm sorry, Orlando Magic, both with five wins and four losses. Over in the East, um, <laughs> Denver retains the top spot with eight wins, two losses. Dallas move up to second, seven, eight wins and two losses. Minnesota up as well. Um, with a six-game win streak, seven wins, two losses in third. Houston also is on a six-game win streak in fourth with six with. Six six wins and three losses um in fifth place is oklahoma city thunder with six wins and five four losses and dropping down to sixth with um a three game losing streak mostly against teams with good bigs not even elite bigs like good bigs multiple good bigs i should say um golden state my golden state warriors with six wins and five losses um we play again tomorrow um tuesday it's tuesday the 14th tomorrow tuesday the 14th um i believe that will be against the timberwolves in a in-game season tournament matchup yeah so that is how the nba looking for this um for this for this week i'm gonna see if i uh, check the key days to see if any big games coming up well, i ain't really telling you when big thing any games excuse me the rest of the week i tired this coming in but the show must go and i apologize um yeah so before we get out of here well, let's see how you know myself um in the cricket world cup they're down to the semi-finals and on wednesday the 15th india will be playing new zealand in the first semi-final and um south africa takes on australia and since when i when i did talk about this in the group stage and i said australia not looking good 
but watch out for them they end up in the semi-finals although i ain't really following the tournament as much um so yeah all the cricket fans only could check out that wednesday and thursday semi-final one india versus new zealand semi-final two south africa versus australia um yeah so that is it for this week's episode of the fan stand um short and sweet nice and sweet so thank you for all those who um came up in the fan stand all sit up in the fan stand chill our vibes all our vibes um tell a friend to tell a friend you know share the live with your friends share the page with your friends let me build up let me build up the fans let me build up the the um the the community you know just the fan community where we could voice our opinions and our favorite teams our um rivals our most revered most revered rivals um you know let's uh, say let's build up the community uh if you're new to the page if you're new to the content or if you just haven't been around to it yet please 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 follow us on instagram follow us on tiktok for various forms of content go to um youtube subscribe to the wooden sheet page where you could find the um uploaded episodes of the caribbean fan stand and also episodes of the wooden sheet podcast with myself and randall um you could also get audio only versions of the podcast and the caribbean fan stand on spotify and other major uh podcasts and platforms yeah so um until next time or be safe stay dry you know keep your ears on the ground and we will get the word out blessings